everyone, my name is Selva. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you're doing well and having such a fantastic day. So this video is actually the first video of 2023 and Happy New Year. I hope you had such a blast New Year's Eve and I hope it's going to be our year because I don't know about you but I feel good about this year um, even though I record this on the 20th so um, but i'm feeling great about 2023 and i have good vibes about it so i hope you'll have such an amazing year because it's a brand new page and yeah i hope we're going to be in good health and full of happiness and blast but today we are building in the world of evergreen harbor which is the world that came with the eco lifestyle expansion pack and Today we're building in a, I don't know what to call this, but industrial vibe, not sure, but we have the green one, we have the neutral one, and we have the industrial one. I don't really remember what the term is, but I hope you get what I mean, but um, I was thinking about doing a kind of like a very industrial, kind of trashy and grungy apartment, but not like city living-esque apartment. It's going to be more like the eco lifestyle one, if that makes sense. And today we are um, doing a kind of like a, like an old house that's kind of transformed into a kind of like apartment, like smaller apartment. Um, and. I just wanted to build it industrial mode again. I'm not sure what to call this type of industrial vibe thing, but I only have been building in industrial vibe twice with this. So the first one was the, I don't know, the one that's the best house, I think. And this one is going to be the second one. And I don't know about you, but it's not easy to build in industrial eco footprint because everything is so Hmm, I don't know what to call this, but orangey in a way that's it looks somehow hazy, but not like a good hazy, if that makes sense. And um, at first, I wasn't really sure what type of lot type this build is going to be because um, I was thinking of like a kind of like a trashy university housing, but I still want to have like a like a kitchen like a full set kitchen because i don't know about you but in my country we are allowed to have kitchen like full kitchen set with ovens and stoves and like full size fridge in our like dorm room because they will have this kind of like a dedicated room for the like full kitchen like common kitchen room and unfortunately it's not the case with the sims 4 so we can't have like either ovens or stoves and I don't want to deal with that and the other reason was because I do realize that the second floor is slightly too small for university housing because if I ever done a university housing I I don't know I feel like it's kind of important to have as many beds as possible because you can fit a lot of sims uh, by like putting a lot of beds and um, when I was like doing the floor plan, I kind of realized that this build will only fit up to 5 or 6 sims I think and it's not enough so I scraped that idea off and kind of turned this into like a like a smaller apartment it's not like an apartment it's more like flat I would say so it's going to be like a like a really huge house um, like a huge old house like very very old but uh, the landlords kind of just like moved out from this house and um, they bought another house like nearby and kind of like and set the house as like a flat if that makes sense so we'll have like a reception desk over here we have like a cafeteria or a canteen but more like cafeteria we have like the internet cafe like common like co-working space but not co-working i hope you understand what i mean and we also have like a laundromat so uh that's basically what i thought and upstairs we have two full size not full size but like smaller full size small smaller apartments i would say so um yeah it's going to be like a i don't know what to call this but like an apartment but not just an apartment like a, an apartment and a common space if that makes sense but um 
and as you can tell that I didn't really limit the pack usage here and I thought the uh, internet cafe and the laundromat and the cafeteria will be like open publicly so it's not exclusively for the um, the one who rent apartments um, that's basically what I thought and both apartments are so small and I had a lot of struggle when I did the um, like furnishing because it's been a very long time since the last time I built or decorated a kind of like a tiny house residential. It's not that often lately to see me building and decorating like smaller builds like I don't know tiny home residentials and maybe I should be doing that anytime soon because at least for the past year like at least within 2022 I haven't built any tiny builds. Um, which is so strange because I'm pretty sure in 2021 most of my builds were like tiny house residentials like either micro house small house or tiny house um, so it's kind of yeah it's kind of strange and I feel like I kind of like branching out a bit more and um, I hope in 2023 I could be doing more like huge builds and more pack restriction builds because I love doing that so much because sometimes it's way better to see less items in the catalog so um yeah i will be doing that and i hope within march i think um i could release my base game save file which is at the willow creek save file and it's going to be like a very accessible save file because it's base game only and everyone can play with it and yeah that's basically the update of the save file i hope I could finish it as soon as possible and I know this voiceover is kind of like a very random rambly voiceover because I just like I, I'm feeling great I am very excited about this year and um, one question what is your resolution for 2023 and um, mine is to be healthy like to work out more regularly because um, for the past like three four weeks I would say like yeah at least yeah about three weeks i've been doing pound fit workout and oh my god i feel great i do it almost every day so yeah i'm feeling great i feel way better i have more sleep i feel like my sleep quality is way way better even though i only sleep for like five six hours a day but um yeah i i'm feeling great and i feel like i have more energy which is great and yeah tell me what your resolutions are and um this is the second apartment so it's going to be like a very cutesy apartment i know all of my builds have this like cutesy vibe like not kawaii but like kind of cute and i don't know like feminine in a way so it's kind of um i think it's kind of my signature um like not genre but like decorating style i would say and um this apartment has a fireplace which is really fancy and it's not necessary but i just wanted to have a fireplace and i did this kind of like a trick where i stack up this um what is this like the divider thing from machino um to separate the living and the like private bedroom space and i know it doesn't do much because well you can see everything from the like um entrance but it is what it is and i did play this everything works just fine but the main issue is if you wanted to play this as a residential you really can't have the like stuffs i would say for the cafeteria and the um, reception desk and also since i did put a laptop i think yeah basically like a pc or a laptop on the lobby um someone will use that pc randomly and it's just basically how it works so just a little side notes on that and um the laundromat is so huge i wish i did put some like i don't know like uh like a gym equipment like a treadmill or the other thing not really sure what to call that but like the i don't know you know the other thing not the treadmill one and i also put a vending machine which is really really fun and it's from snowy escape 
And I didn't really limit the pack usage here, so I am truly sorry about that. But I just feel like I wanted to go all packs on this build because I I don't know. I feel like it's kind of nice to build using a lot of packs, but at the end of the build, I feel like I was too overwhelmed with how many items we have. And um, yeah, it's going to be like a very trashy exterior and the shipping will be having a lot of like tires and like trash and I don't know like pallets, like wooden pallets, something like that. And I think it's kind of like respond the whole neighborhood really well. And I didn't put that many landscaping like like bushes and shrubs and stuff because I just want to have this very very strange very trashy um, outdoor area and I hope you're okay with that but if you feel like it's a bit too much you can simply change them up yourself I don't really mind that and on the back we have a mini like backyard with basketball hoop and also the jamming session thing but I feel like it's going to be nice to set this up as a I don't know like a park maybe national park or maybe park in general because i think it will attract more townies and we're basically finishing up the build with some terrain paints and we'll be heading on to the screenshots so if you'd like to download this build this is already available on the gallery my id is alfatiara or you can find it under the hashtag blimey sims you can also click the download link on the description box below that will bring you to my coffee blog post it'll have two different links the first one is the gallery download link and the other one is the tray files link from simfashare so yeah i think that's it i really hope you find this video inspiring and the build useful to your game and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to you can also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video so yeah I'm going to go now thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting me I hope you have the very best day and I'll see you very very soon bye what's it like to be the one that he turns to when he saddle answers what's it like to be the one that he comes to when he Like to hold his hand when he tells you that you're all he 